Carbidopa, levodopa, also known as levocarb and cocoreldopa, is the combination of the two medications carbidopa and levodopa. It is primarily used to manage the symptoms of Parkinson's disease but does not change the course of the disease. It is taken by mouth. It can take two to three weeks of treatment before benefits are seen. Each dose then begins working in about 10 minutes with a duration of effect of about 5 hours. Common side effects include movement problems and nausea. More serious side effects include depression, low blood pressure with standing, sudden onset of sleepiness, psychosis, and increased risk taking behavior. Carbidopa prevents the breakdown of levodopa outside the brain. In the brain, levodopa is broken down into dopamine by which it has its effects. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication and is moderately expensive. The wholesale price in the developing world is about 1.80 to 3 United States dollars a month. In the United States a month's supply is about 50 to 150 United States dollars. Medical uses Parkinson's disease It is primarily used to improve the symptoms of Parkinson's disease but does not change the course of the disease. It can take two to three weeks of treatment before benefits are seen. Each dose then begins working in about 10 minutes with a duration of effect of about 5 hours. A formulation that can be given in an intra-intestinal pump, known as duodopa is being developed. Other Other uses include for dopamine-responsive dystonia DRD, and restless leg syndrome. There is tentative evidence that it is useful in amblyopia when used with other treatments. Side effects Common side effects include movement problems, and nausea. Most common early side effect is hallucinations, as movement problems manifest 5 to 10 years after initiation of treatment. More serious side effects include depression, low blood pressure with standing, sudden onset of sleepiness, and the compulsion to gamble, engage in sexual behavior, or other risk-taking behavior. Mechanism of action Levodopa is converted to dopamine via the action of a naturally occurring enzyme called dopa decarboxylase. This occurs both in the peripheral circulation and in the central nervous system after levodopa has crossed the blood-brain barrier. Activation of central dopamine receptors improves the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, however, activation of peripheral dopamine receptors causes nausea and vomiting. For this reason levodopa is usually administered in combination with a dopa decarboxylase inhibitor, DDCI, in this case carbidopa, which is very polar, and charged at physiologic pH, and cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, however prevents peripheral conversion of levodopa to dopamine and thereby reduces the unwanted peripheral side effects of levodopa. Use of carbidopa also increases the quantity of levodopa in the bloodstream that is available to enter the brain. History In 1960 the Austrian biochemist Ole Hornikovich, while at the University of Vienna, examined results of autopsies of patients who had died with Parkinson's disease. He suggested that the disease was associated with, or caused by, a reduction in the levels of dopamine in the basal ganglia of the brain. Since dopamine itself did not enter the brain, he tried treating 20 patients with a racemic mixture of dihydroxyphenylalanine, dopa, which could enter the brain and be converted there to dopamine by the action of dopa decarboxylase. His results were positive, as were those of another trial in Montreal run by André Barbeau. Unfortunately, other investigators were unable to replicate these early results, and the use of DOPA remained in question until 1967, when George Katzias at the Brookhaven National Laboratories in Upton, New York, used megadoses of DOPA, up to 16 grams per day. Not long after these results became known, Kurt Porter at Merck showed that L-DOPA was the active stereoisomer, thus reducing the effective dose to half, with L-DOPA identified as the active form. Alfred Pletcher and his colleagues at Hoffman LaRoche synthesized benserazide, an inhibitor of DOPA decarboxylase, which further reduced the required dose. A drug combining L-DOPA with benserazide was marketed under the brand name of Matapar. 
Independent work was carried out by Victor Lotti at Merck in West Point, Pennsylvania. Merck had already synthesized and patented carbidopa, another dopa decarboxylase inhibitor in 1962, and in 1971 Lotti showed that the use of the L form of carbidopa, further reduced the therapeutic dose of L-dopa. The combination of L-carbidopa and L-dopa was marketed under the brand name of Cinemat. Society and culture cost it is available as a generic medication and is moderately expensive. Globally, the wholesale price of the medication is about 1.80 to 3 United States dollars a month. In the United States, a month's supply is about 50 to 150 United States dollars. Names the generic name under the band system is Cocoreldopa. It is sold under several brand names, including Cinemet, Merck Sharp and Dome Limited, Pharmacopa, Adamit, Apo Levocarb, Duodopa, Kinson, and Pharmacopa, among others. Extended release formulations are sold as Ritari and Cinemet CR. An extended release enteral solution is sold as Duopa. Shortages in 1991, Merck licensed the rights to the manufacture and sale of Cinemet to a newly created joint venture, DuPont Merck Pharmaceutical Company. That same year, approvals for a sustained release formulation, Cinemet CR, which could be taken less frequently were also obtained. DuPont purchased Merck's share in the joint venture in 1998 and began operating the company as DuPont Pharmaceuticals, DuPont Pharma, but Merck continued to manufacture the drug for DuPont. Starting in late 2009 and continuing into 2011 Merck stopped manufacturing the drug while awaiting regulatory approvals due to a change in the supplier of the active ingredient. This resulted in shortages of the brand name products Cinemet and Cinemet CR, although alternative generic versions were still available. Another shortage appears to be occurring, it seems to have begun at the end of 2017. See also Stilevo in combination with Entacapone references external links Levodopa and Carbidopa at U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, Cinemet Data Sheet at the Ministry of Health, New Zealand.